the VIX just hit one-year lows and one-month realized volatility also hit at or near one-year lows. So we're going to talk about what that means for you, and we think it has bullish implications in the short term for markets. So in blue is one-month realized volatility. So that tells us how much the market has been moving on a rolling basis over the last one month. Now, implied volatility, we're using the VIX as a proxy. The VIX is essentially a measurement of 30-day implied volatility in the SPY or SPX. And so the two are somewhat comparable because we're looking at a one-month trailing window and comparing that to a one-month forward-looking metric, right, to see, okay, given the fact that traders see less volatility over the last one month, what does that mean for volatility looking forward? And in general, what we should have here is lower realized volatility should mean lower future volatility, right? Because what's our best proxy for what the market may do in the future? Well, it's what the market has been doing in the recent past. And so what you see here is indeed really at the end of March and into most of April, realized volatility has come down sharply. That tells us that market movement by and large has been really shrinking quite a bit. And again, you can see we're at lows that really rival that of 2020, 2021, where there was just a very bullish market, right? And we were constantly making new highs. Now, what that is serving to do is drag down the VIX and drag down implied volatility. And that, of course, crushes put options in particular. And we think that's one of the reasons that this can help to create positive returns. But narratives aside, let's actually look, look at some of what the returns are. So to break this down, what we did here is we compared the spread between the VIX and one month realized volatility, and that is what's on the Y axis. And then on the x-axis here is the five-day forward return of the spider. So given what the VIX and realized volatility spread is today, what did the spiders do five days out in time? Now, what you can see here, the first thing many of you will pick up on are these really big positive returns here on the lower right quadrant. Now, what this is, is typically in terms of large crises, like in February of 2020, or the bank crisis even recently here in March, the VIX will spike, right? And we'll have a very violent spike and then the equity market will sell off. And generally, the Fed comes out and, and says, hey, we got your back here. We're going to provide liquidity or backstop something. And then suddenly, the VIX collapses, right? Traders sell implied volatility because they know that the risks, or they believe, I should say, that the risks have been addressed. And that should provide for a, a bounce in the markets. So the VIX will sell off very sharply, and the, and the market will tend to rally very sharply at that, at that point. However, realized vol, because it's this fixed window, it takes several days, right, or weeks for those high volatility points to roll out of the calculation, right, to roll out of that one month trailing return. And so what you get is the VIX will suddenly collapse, right, and realized vol is held high. So if we look at some of those periods, obviously the COVID crash is the marquee one here where you can see the Fed backstop markets, the VIX gets crushed. But again, that realized volatility metric takes a little bit of time to come down, right? So again, the idea is that, look, Yes, there was massive volatility in the past, but we now have a great reason to, to expect that volatility comes down in the future if the Fed backstops us off of risks. So those are when the most positive returns happen. But what, are returns, what do returns look like for periods like now? And for that, those are the orange dots. So we look at one month realized volatility. Right now is about 16. And so what we did is we looked at periods where realized vol was 16 or less. And those are the orange dots. And as you can see that the, the returns are typically positive. They are to the right here. There are a few nasty tails, which we're going to talk about in a second. But in general, the returns are positive. And we think the returns are positive because lower volatility is often a signal for CTAs, like vol targeting strategies. They may decide to allocate more to buying equities if volatility is coming down. So you have some of those triggers. And then we also think in general that if you're a market maker or a options dealer at a bank, et cetera, anytime puts are losing a lot of value, if you're short those puts, you can buy back hedges as a result, right? So if, if VIX is coming down, VIX futures are coming down, if puts are losing value, generally we think that is a tailwind for equities and that helps to boost equities and the returns seem to support that thesis. Now, if we look at the distribution of these returns, what you can see is that indeed, most of the time we're seeing a zero to 1% positive return. You can see that there's certainly a skew to these returns and that in general we're positive, but there are these very nasty tails. Now, these tails are the result of times when markets are very calm and then suddenly you get hit over the head with the risk. And because implied volatility is so low and realized volatility is so low, it pops as traders suddenly shift from risk on right to risk off. And that was most clear, I think, in February of 2020, where the world could kind of see the ramifications of COVID and the virus picking up steam, right? 
in that unfortunate circumstances. But the equity market, by and large, through the first couple of weeks of the pandemic there in early February, seemed to shrug it off. It didn't really seem to matter. And then we hit February OPEX, which is roughly the third Friday, February 21st, roughly. And then all of a sudden, you know, the market just, equity market just went risk off and we just had some really, really nasty returns. And I think sometimes you may want to draw some interesting parallels to that. Certainly we're not in that same pandemic period of, of extreme turmoil, but right now the equity market seems to be ignoring, you know, possible debt ceiling issues, possible recession, possible, you know, further bank crises, right? Those are kind of tomorrow's problems or those problems are at least a month away, if not more. It's data dependent. We're not really sure. And so in the very short term, realized volatility is very low. The VIX keeps coming down. And what we think is that is that's going to give us a tailwind through the start of May. And again, this is because as that realized vol comes down, we think that it, it provides a bullish tailwind for markets. Some of you may refer to this as kind of a Vanna flow, right? Where this VIX coming down is telling us that those options are losing value, volatility is coming lower, and that can lead entities to have to buy stocks and equities. And again, this all works out very well until you, that kind of tail risk pops up and one can't help but mark May OPEX for a possible topping period as we move forward over what should be a continuation of a lower vol period. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below or hit us up on Twitter at SpotGamma.